Welcome back to Trans Guy Reacts. This is Nick, and I make videos about women's basketball, collegiate, or professional. Oh, I think I might have glitched there. Hopefully that came through. Uh, but yeah, I make videos about women's basketball, collegiate, or professional. And today I want to talk about the last three days. Uh, so Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So June 16th through the 18th. I was in, the last two days I was in Guadalajara living my best life. And I got back yesterday evening and I'm tired so doing the recap I'm not gonna have a lot of like energy and that's just it is what it is so let's go all the way back to June 16th uh, Sunday the Chicago Sky versus the Indiana Fever that was such a big deal because like it's the whole Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark BS which whatever rivalries are rivalries but you know people want to be racist in this rivalry because Caitlin Clark's fans are white nationalists so it is what it is um, in this game, uh, looks like a Fever won, uh, 91 to 83. Uh, they were at home, so they had a lot of, uh, support. Let's look at Chicago. Uh, wow, looks like, uh, Mar uh Marina Mabry had 22 points. Camilla Cardoso had 10 points and 10 rebounds for a double-double, and so did Angel Reese. She had 11 points, 13 rebounds for a double-double. She's had a double-double every night. Every time she plays, pretty much for the last, like, I don't know, five games or more. So she's incredibly consistent, and that's fantastic. Kennedy Carter had 18 points, um, and Dana Evans had 12 points. So good uh, outing for them, but it just wasn't enough. Looks like um, Nalissa Smith had 15 points. Aaliyah Boston had 19 points, 14 rebounds for a double-double. That is a fantastic outing. Really great. Oh, my God. She had five blocks. That's crazy. Kelsey Mitchell had 17 points. Um, and Caitlin Clark had 23 points, did have nine assists, almost had a double-double herself, but she did have five turnovers. As per usual, she is a turnover queen. But look, she had two blocks. I'm shocked she even had blocks. She's not that tall, so good for her. Now, going on to Seattle versus, uh, Seattle Storm versus Phoenix Mercury. The Phoenix actually won this game 87 to 78. I'm actually surprised that, by that because I think Seattle's um, uh, kind of a, I don't say a better team, just a more cohesive team. But it uh, looks like Neko Wumake had 15 points, uh, 11 rebounds. Ezzy Magavore had 14 points, 8 rebounds. Jewel Lloyd had 14 points. Skylar Diggins Smith has 14 points, 8 assists. Jordan Horson had 12 points. That's pretty great, pretty good in two blocks. Um, but uh, Phoenix had some heavy hitters they had Kalia Copper had 30 points which is becoming like her usual thing uh six rebounds um Brittany Griner had 28 points nine rebounds almost had a double double two blocks uh Diana Taurasi had 13 points eight rebounds uh and so those were the big hitters and they were able to come on top on this game and it was also a home game so that always helps get that x factor behind them the next game on that Sunday or uh, it was the final game for the evening was Los Angeles Sparks versus Atlanta Dream. Atlanta Dream won this game 87-74, to and Atlanta needed it. They've been losing almost all of their games lately, so it's good for them. They needed to, they definitely needed to win this game. Uh, Los Angeles Sparks have been on a skid because they're young and they don't have consistent players. Uh, but uh, the rookies did play really well. Rakia Jackson uh, had 16 points. Uh, Cameron Brink had 16 points and seven rebounds. She actually was rebounding the ball, which I like. I like to see. Um, Dierka Hamby had 10 points, eight rebounds, uh, and Ari McDonald had 14 points. So pretty good outing for Los Angeles. It just wasn't enough. And the Atlanta Dream, uh, Ryan Howard had 16 points. Tina Charles had 20 points, 11 rebounds, double double. She's a vet. She's a, she's amazing. So I'm not surprised by that. Uh, Alicia Gray had 25 points. Um, and Ariel Powers had 13.6 rebounds. So uh, just a little bit of a better outing for for the Dream. And um, the Sparks are struggling. Dallas. So on Monday there was only one game. Um, it was Dallas Wings versus Minnesota Lynx. And, of course, the Lynx won because the Lynx have been incredibly dominant this season and the Wings have been struggling. And it was 90-78. Uh, let's look at the box score here. So for Dallas... Uh, Monique Billings had 15 points, 10 rebounds, double-double. Monique has been incredibly consistent. Oh, my God, she had nine assists. She almost had a triple-double. Oh, my God, that's crazy. Um, she's been incredibly consistent. I bet you the Los Angeles Sparks are sad that they actually traded her. They shouldn't have. Uh, Maddie Segris, oh, actually, they didn't trade her. They waived her, and then uh, the Wings picked her up on hardship contract. Uh, Maddie Segris 
had 17 points and 7 rebounds. Her sophomore season has been amazing. She is definitely in line for, like, most improved player because this is pretty crazy. Um, Sev, Sev G. Yusin had 17.6 rebounds, and but she had a lot of turnovers. Seven turnovers did not help them at all. Um, Kalani Brown had six points. J.C. Sheldon had eight points. Yeah, just not enough against the Minnesota Lynx. Nafisa Collier had 16.7 rebounds. Alana Smith had 12 points, nine rebounds, five steals. Crazy. Dorka Juhas had 11 points. Uh, Kayla McBride had 19.7 assists. Uh, Natasha Heidemann had 17 points. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just too much. Too much for the Wings. Couldn't pull it together. And today's games were uh, exactly what I expected. Um, Los Angeles Sparks versus Connecticut Sun. Of course, the Connecticut Sun won because they are... Uh, pretty doing really amazing this season. Um, Sparks are struggling, but it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was only a nine-point loss, but still a loss nonetheless. Uh, Los Angeles, you had uh, Rakia Jackson had 10.7 rebounds. She's playing con- incredibly consistently. Uh, Derek Dierka Hamby had an off night. She only had eight points. Uh, uh, er- uh, Ari McDonald had 14.7 assists. Lee Yero had 11 points. Pretty good night for her. Uh, Stephanie Talbot had nine points. Lexi Brown had eight points. The problem here was Cameron Brink went down very early in the game with a knee injury. She fell. She, like, tripped over someone's feet and landed really hard on her left knee, and she had to go out of the game. So hopefully she's okay, but um, I'm assuming she had a really bruised bruised knee, and that's why she didn't come back in the game. Uh, and then for Connecticut Sun, you just had too many people in double digits. You had Dewana Bonner with 16.7 rebounds, Alyssa Thomas with 11 points, seven rebounds, seven assists, Brianna Jones, 13 points. Dijanae, excuse me, Dijanae Carrington with 12 points. Uh, Taisha Harris with 14 points. So it's just too much, too much Connecticut Sun. And uh, lastly, the game that I just finished was the New York Liberty versus Phoenix Mercury. And this game was actually pretty entertaining. It was a sellout crowd for uh, Phoenix Mercury. Um, I think a lot of people thought that the Liberty were going to win, but they did not. Uh, Phoenix won 99 and 93, and it it was pretty exciting. It was a little chippy. I think um, Phoenix got like three technical fouls because they were very upset by the officiating, and Nate Tibbetts had to even challenge a call, and he won it because it was a stupid ticky tack foul. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, Kayla Thornton for New York had 12.7 rebounds. Brianna Stewart had 28 points. That's fantastic. And five steals. She had a great night, but just not enough. John Qualt Jones had 17 points, seven assists. Um, uh, Benigel Laney Hamilton had 12 points, nine rebounds. Uh, Sabrina Inescu had 19 points, seven rebounds, eight assists. Really good outing. Just not enough uh, for the Mercury. Mercury Kalia Copper had 17 points, seven assists. Um, Beck Allen, Rebecca Allen had 17 points, seven rebounds. Brittany Griner had 19 points. Diana Taurasi had 19 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, Natasha Cloud had 11 points. And Sophie Cunningham had 13 points. It was it was just a really good, solid performance from the Phoenix. I mean, it's still a close game. It was only a six-point game. But it looks like Liberty looked really tired in that last quarter and just couldn't keep it together. So, But, yeah, and it was nice that this game was also on CBS Sports, which I love when um, these kind of games that are, like, very strong – basketball players who are veterans mostly um get on national tv because they're are the bet they're the better games they're in the, these games are not going to be blowouts usually they're going to be fun and exciting and it was so yeah that was the breakdown of the games that was the recap um if you like this kind of coverage please like share and subscribe as i always say i don't have my comment section on because i don't care what random people on the internet think about me but yeah i'll see y'all in the next one peace